just remove this match for the time being, mate. Um, so, <laughs> what do you do for uh, what do you do for work, Mister uh, Mister Do? Right, so we own we own a restaurant. Uh, well, we're part owners of a restaurant with another lad called Stephen French, and then me and Mouse uh, in it with him at fifty percent. Because me and Mouse, um, so we own Del Five Industries. That's what the building's for. We give out like movie props, you know, to to studios that do music videos, movies, you no know, shit like that. And then as well, we have like side businesses. So obviously, with the restaurant stuff like that, we have a lot of cash flow at the minute. All right. Okay. Of course. Of course. Um. Do you want to do you want to tell me a little bit about the amount of uh, the amount of stock that you have in that warehouse then? That's that's honestly it's plastic. Some of it's metal. The weed is literally, if you go and look at it, it's popcorn painted green. So if you go there, obviously don't eat it because it's fucking paint. But try and <laughs> put it in a grinder and smoke it, bro. Like it's popcorn. Um, the Rolexes are. The Rolexes are fake. You can get them tested at the Vangelico. They are looking into it. Um, what else? The the fucking the stuff that looks like acid, like that that's used for acetone in movies. That's just liquid. You can go. It's green. It's water with green food color in it. The money rolls of okay, paper okay. printed out. You can go and get them tested. Right, okay, okay. Um, there was something I did notice was a little bit strange. Um, I took a little, took a wee look up the top. Uh, it did take quite a while to climb up there, but uh, I managed to climb on top of uh, one of your uh, shelves, and I did see a golden um, coloured minigun um, that was, funnily enough, it looked, it did look and feel very lifelike, to be fair. Yeah, that's that's the whole point of it. Like, if you go and try and put okay. live rounds in that, it's not going to shoot. It really isn't. So, no, of course, of course. Um, can but I you've gassed me up on is me that, Is that for a movie? Yeah, mate, that, what, that's I mean, for a movie, yeah. That's for a movie, right, okay. Um, can you tell me why it's actually so so heavy and it's not made out of a lighter object since it's actually for movies? Realistically, if an actor's going to be carrying it for prolonged amounts of time, recording different amounts of shots... Realistically, they're gonna they're, they're gonna get tired, and that had some fucking amount of weight to it, mate. Yeah, I know that. So if you look at it, there's two prongs on the top. So what they do, they attach. Um, have you ever have you ever seen Spider Man? I've seen yeah, I've seen Spider Man. You know when he's have. jumping and he's web swinging, they have yep, yep. strings attached to him, big ropes, don't they? Basically, mm -hmm. that's set in stone. That floats in the air. And the actor just goes and grabs onto it. He's not holding it. The ropes are taking the weight. And then when it... Um, obviously, in the movie, it gets edited out and shit like that. It just adds to the realism. Like, you telling that is actually means I'm doing a good job. So I'm happy with that, no, to be yeah, honest. Of course, of course. Um, what, sort of, uh, what sort of movies have you been making? And Well, what sort of movies have you been uh, in, in, uh, in Lena work with? Um, so we've done... We're fairly new, so at the minute it's been Transporter 15, Fast okay. and Furious 22. Right, okay. And uh, there's been a few, there's been a few um, music videos. So you are fairly new, what, Dell 5 Industries? Or yeah, just yeah, a as, a, as a business, yeah, yeah, and a, and a movie production business. Like, we've had all the props for a while. Right, okay. But we've just actually got it on our feet and we're actually taking like deals now. Okay, no worries, no worries. Um, what about uh, any proof of purchase, anything like that? Of, uh... Proof of purchase? Um, well, I mean, I could probably get you proof to the materials like we use because we make them ourselves. Of course, yeah. No, you've got you've got some setup on the go. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, if you go look at like the questions. benches and so, stuff, with I did, yeah, no, I did, I did see the benches and that. I was a little bit curious why you have and i did have an ar um what i remember actually second in command of uh, the ar division come and actually do a gun residue test and um you do have live gunpowder for making munitions down on one of your workbench up to the right hand side of your warehouse you want to tell me a little bit of why you have 
live gunpowder and uh, hollow point rounds active in your warehouse, which is, as you know, is a completely illegal to carry. Well, I'm not being funny, mate, but as you can tell, there's no locks on the gates. There's literally no locks on the doors. That could be anyone's. That's nothing to do with me. You can okay. residue test me, mouse, no a lot of my thought. workers, and nothing will come back on us. So, realistically, um, is this your business? Well, obviously, it's your business. Is this is that your warehouse? Is it in your name? Uh, yeah, that'll be in my name. Okay, lovely stuff, lovely stuff. And so, obviously, mouse is because we, we're 50 50 split on the business. Yeah, no, of course. Of course, you and mouse. Um, yeah, on behalf of the, of the gunpowder, um, so what you were saying, you think that someone would have came in and, and put that gunpowder with those hollow points in there next to the munitions desk? or Maybe. Is that, is that what you were thinking? I, I Well, it's nothing to do with me. It's nothing to do with... I, I know for of a course, fact of course. it won't be nothing to do with my workers. Because right, okay. me, so... I've got past crimes and I'm yeah. better than from that now, so I'm not looking to dig back into that. So how many workers have you actually got working for you? Uh, so at the minute, there's about... 10, 11 of us. Right, okay, 10, 11, no worries. I feel like I've been set up, to be completely honest with you. No, no, hey, I'm just, everyone I'm just with the follows, questions, because obviously, that. you know, I was a little bit concerned myself when I did see quite a lot of the stuff in there. I was pretty shocked. Yeah, yeah. Um, from the stuff that I've seen, but obviously, you know, it did relieve me a lot when I was told that it's obviously movie props. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Of course, um, about the, I did see that, um, I, and I do apologise for this, I did take the, the beautiful stairs up to your uh, up to your main office and took a wee look up there. Um, what's uh, up with the full, the full map of the city with different location points around the whole city? Uh, the locations of the points are just businesses who we've got contact with, to be honest. Like, everything there is pinpointed. Okay. You can check out those locations. They're literally... One of them will be the record company. Like, it'll be music studios, movie sets, all that stuff. All right, okay, no worries. Um, yeah, um, so you said 10, 11 workers that you've got working for you, and do they, do they produce these movie props? Uh, so they don't give me the props. I... Me and Mouse supply the materials and really? they like all you know, the popcorn, whatever, all that stuff, the paper. We'll have printers, we'll have painters, we'll have, you know, we'll have sculptures like that. That's literally right, okay. 3D printers, shit like that. Like, I mean, you've definitely got an impressive setup there. Um, and so you only supply the goods, is that right? Uh, so yeah. And you don't, do you do any of the making of any of the props or anything like that? Or? Um, I used to, but right now, like, it's pointless me paying people if I'm just going to do it myself. So, of course, of course. I'd, I'd dabble in it here and there, to be honest. So, what about the minigun situation? Was that just a bit of a dabbling situation? We just decided to make a make an important product for someone? Well, to be honest, mate, when they ask, we we give it to them on a plate, you know what I mean? Like, 100%, 100%. They ask, they'll receive, sort of thing. I'm happy with that, 100%. Um, I'm happy with that. Uh, I think that's all the questions I've got today. Um, um, I was yeah. told, though, I, I've came down, obviously, I've given my point of view, like, I, I've been as honest as I can with you. Like, I need to see this Hello, call that was made because there's no warrant, there's no nothing. Oh, of course. Yep, I no need problem. proof um, of this call that was made. Roses are red and violets are blue. One's in a blunt and one's in a zoo. Two in the front and one in the boot. Just give me the drop and I'll bring it to you. Corbo spin this motor, I see me a hot, but I think that he spotted this whip. Let me jump up quick, see him swerving dip to avoid...